Hello guys, this is Quad, and finally I did some runs in Diablo 2 Resurrected and can present you the results of this farming project. So these were 250 runs of Pindle, Eldritch and Shank. And by the way, here for all your Necro Summoner fans, you can get your Scalars really quick, you don't even need to kill Pindle, but I would always do it in this case. And actually already the first find was in a run 5 and probably one of the best ones if I be honest. So this is rare tiara, they could draw godly, let's see this one. 2 to necro skills, 20 FCR, 21 life and poison rest, this is so amazing. Later on Eldritch was a little bit generous on the small charm, so as you imagine I'm in the beginning of my solo cell found journey and this one rolled with 5 code res and 6 mf, this is super good. Then one of the buddies next to the shank and by the way those spear throwers are really terrible and do a lot of damage, I really don't like them but hey we have to farm, so one of them dropped a triangle scales. Really nice armor for faster run walk. Later on in the run 63, Pindo dropped something special. Let's see what is it? It's a unique ring. What could it be guys? It's a first one for me. Let's see what it rolled. Manald Hill, of course. Garbage. Then, after 8 runs, Pindle dropped actually something really, really rare. And this is Seth Caesar Suwaya. This is Natalia's Mark, one of the rarest set items in the game. And then game kind of was, you know, hinting that I should have made an assassin, dropped a set loricated male. This is also part of Natalia's set, Natalia's shadow with two open sockets. Seven runs later, Eldritch dropped another armor, this time unique. And this time it's actually useful, especially for the mercenary, Guardian Angel. Exactly on a run 100, I get double drop. So one small charm and unique war gauntlets. Those are actually Hellmouth and super cool for the sorcerers to run Travinkle to absorb the fire damage. And a small charm rolled 17 to life. I'll take it definitely. Then another friendly reminder from Pindle about assassin play. This time it is a loricated male again. Let's see how many sockets here. Three open sockets. Pretty decent. Next find happens off Eldritch, and this one is a little bit special, a bit disappointing so you will see why, but let me pick up those chain gloves, they are ethereal and they wrote 220 bow gloves with 3 life leech, 14 dexterity and 28 fire rest, oh my goodness they are so good. I was actually surprised of the amount of rare items I found, not so many uniques or sets, but for example this rare jewel was also very decent. 7 FHR, 7 to life, 27 fire res and 4 magic fine. Really good. Run 126, unique ward bow. This one is known as Widowmaker with plus 3 to guided arrow. Only in the end, after I checked all the drops and made all the clips, I realized that actually Pindle was delivering a lot of drops, like this one, Doombringer, a light champion sword, pretty decent. 10 runs later I find interesting belt for the sorcerers. Set mesh belt of the random mob. Let's make sure it's safe over here, so we don't get any spears or arrows in our back. And this is Taurasha's fine spun cloth, 11% to MF. Just about two runs after, Pindle was delivering again. This time it's Hyperion Spear, that is Ariok's Needle. And another two runs after, Pindle delivered probably the second rarest item here. 
This one is Sad Caduceus. Griswold's Redemption with 4 open sockets and 228 enhanced damage. Another mesh belt. Let's see how this one rolls. Maybe we can get a perfect MF on it. 15%, very decent. Here is another very dangerous attempt to kill Shank and random mob drops Ballista. This one is actually a good budget weapon for a boss zone. Buriza with 163% enhanced damage. And if you are new to farming in Diablo 2 Resurrected, these three places are probably the easiest ones to run for most of the characters in the beginning, so make sure to give it a like so that more new players can see what and where to farm in the beginning. And here is another drop, the rare Bone with Boots, the troll with double res and 20 mm. And finally, here, probably my most favorite find, you will see it right there, White Monarch Shield, yes, I needed 206 runs to get my spirit going. Going to Larzuk, 4 sockets, and let's make quickly the rune word, Tal tool or arm, um, and it's 28% faster cast rate. I'll take it anyways, really good, finally I have spirit. Here is probably the biggest disappointment of these runs, the rare unearthed wand. I've never seen the unique version of this item, the death's web. That could have been a turning point for my necro. Alright, Pindle delivered another good rare item, so this time it is a ring. This one is super decent. Mana Leech, Dexterity, Life, Cold Res and a bit of MF with attack rating. Really good option. Also I was surprised over here when I picked up this Grand Charm. So normally it takes a lot of time to find skillers on a solo self found and yeah I'm a little bit clumsy here. This is a defensive auras and free dexterity, probably the most useless one. Elders drop another unique item, this time it's a death mask, it's a black horse face, but what is unique about it is that it's ethereal. And this is our last drop of the session, but before we wrap it up, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody watching me. We are almost at 3000 subscribers now and I am super grateful to each and every one of you. And of course the last drop is a grand crown, that is, crown of thieves. Thank you for watching and see you next time.